A lot of times teachers use Google Forms or some other way to create a Google spreadsheet. Um, in that spreadsheet, teachers want to be able to work with the data. So I've created some data here in the spreadsheet. And I want to take a look at a couple things. First, how can we sort the data so that the same student shows up all together or we can sort them by subject. Um, and then the other way is to filter it so that all I see is one piece of data. The first thing I want to take a look at is a sort. If you want to sort this data, if you just click in the corner, you'll notice that all your data gets selected. Once you do that, you can go to data and tell it sort range and now you have the ability to sort that data anytime you want. You'll notice that our data has a header, so we're going to say it does have a header row, and we're going to sort it by student name alphabetically A to Z. So when I hit sort, you'll notice that all the A's go first, then the B's, and so forth. You could also sort it in multiple ways. So if we did that data sort range, we could say we want to sort it by name, but then we want to add another sort column and then sort it by subject so that they would alphabetize the name and then alphabetize the subject. So if you look at the data then, it's organized in a way that, that means more to the user. The other thing teachers want to be able to do is to be able to find all of the records that are John. So what we use is the filter. So over here on the right hand side there's a little funnel. If you click on filter, you'll notice that you get little arrows next to each of the topics. So if we want to sort for the Johns, if I click on the little arrow, I can go in and say clear all the choices and let's just find John and then say OK. At that point, all the other columns hide, or all the other rows hide, and I just see the John data. When I'm done with that filter, all I have to do is go over here and turn the filter back off. All the data comes back in, and there's my data. If I want to look at all the kids that are having comments about writing, I go into the filter, I click the little arrow, clear, and I just want to find all the kids with a writing and say OK. At that point I know that I can meet with that person and decide. So there are a couple ways with a sort and with a filter that we can utilize the data that's in our Google spreadsheet.